Should be, and we're about to get this one underway. Belgium in red serving, Slovenia in the blue and green receiving. This is Pool F action from the men's FIVB World Championship. Round two action here in Bologna. First point goes the way of Slovenia. Tina Urnau getting that one off the block and away. Swing down the line for Belgium. Thomas Rousseau making sure that one did not come back. So far, it's the battle of the outside hitters. Bernal versus Rosso. That's an error from Van den Dries, and it'll be Slovenia who take the point. These two teams met in the first round in Pool A. It was a five-set thriller, which went Slovenia's way in the end. 15-13 in the decider. Belgium it was, took the first two sets in this encounter in Pool A, before losing the next three. That time, Van den Dries finds a way through. Marini up early, it was a good touch by Bahis. However, Slovenia take the point. Peter Bahis also up early, getting one in between the arms. Of Alan Payank of Slovenia. The Hayes with the serve. Tina Ernau on the pipe. No doubt the two teams will have earned, learned an awful lot about each other from the five setter they had in. Pool A in Bulgaria. We can expect this match to be just as close as it was in round one. Sanderu not finding a way through. Oh, it's a net touch. Chevel it was who touched the net as that one rattled off of Alan Payek off of his shoulder. His way too late. It's not to be for Belgium. Once Slovenia it is, you get the side out. Gasparini. 
It's a good serve because Belgium can't run the middle. Slovenia get three blockers up. Chevel gets a hand on it, but another chance here for Belgium. But Sam Deru with the roll shot, and now Slovenia have the chance. Oh, what a block that is. Van der Voort just completely closed down the space in front of the Slovenian attacker, and there was absolutely nothing that Gasparini could do in the opposite slot. Nowhere for him to go. to be for Sam Daru. It's a good serve, but an excellent pass, which allows Belgium to run the middle, but not with a ferocious enough attack. That's a good pick up by Belgium. Another chance for Slovenia. Ernau gets shut down. Tried to turn that to the line and was denied. Van den Dries working with Van der Voort and it's Van den Dries who's just closed everything. Lots of time. Wow. Lots of time for Belgium to get their block out. They want that ball to be called as a point against Slovenia for attacking on the side of Belgium, but it wasn't. It was on Slovenia's side. It pops up. The contact was on the side of Slovenia, and it's uh, Kozimunic who gets the point. Porti rimangono nel Kozimunic. Sam Daru is slowed down. Slovenia in attack now. Oh dear, that was a free swing for Gasparini, but he wasn't quite in the position he wanted to be. They're going to look for block touch, but it didn't look as if Belgium even put a block up in front of him. Particularly not where he went to hit it. They're, so they're challenging this, uh, Slovenia. It looked as if Thomas Rosso got out of Russo got out of the way. Which means it must have come off the middle block for Belgium if it was to have caught anybody. They are looking for block touch. Oh he got it as well. Brilliant call. Well from the commentary position where we are you which is on the other side behind the Belgian coach. It was very difficult to see that there was any touch made. Well spotted Gasparini. Good challenge by Slovenia. Van van den Dries doing the business for Belgium. Going out late to close that block. Which is what most replays show now. The players finishing their block long after the ball has passed them.
Gregor Ruprecht with the serve. Very nice. Balki is very quick. And then the hay is up very early. Serve that is Chebel didn't like it at all. Rossu gets the ace serve. Rousseau again. That is an error from Payank. And Belgium are coming right back in and have leveled up in this set. Few errors from Slovenia. And the game has changed already. That's a brilliant angle. Sam Deroux joining in to help out with Belgium's triple block, but he must have opened up the angle here. Indeed he has didn't close, didn't press his left arm across the court, across the net. Huge hit from Van den Dries, he's the go-to player at the moment for Belgium. Chevel went block out the wrong way. Taking it back into court, making it very difficult for Reynolds to get it instead of trying to get it the other way, but it was too difficult for him. And too difficult for anyone else to get onto it. Ball in. Chevel slowed down. Oh, lovely shot from Sam Daru, just squeezing that down the front of Slovenia's block. Big swing. Belgium have got themselves into a good position in the early stages of this first set. And they've got themselves now into a better position. Excellent blocking. 
Daru getting across the net. And joined by Van der Voort. Valkyrs. Lois Stewart not making a quick enough adjustment in the Libra position from where he is. He stepped into court and then took himself away from actually going to get that ball. And would you believe it? A fist of fury gets the job done for Slovenia. That's an excellent serve. Slovenia in control of this rally. And Anu on the pipe. Gives Slovenia the point. Ball off the back of a good serve that gave a free ball to Slovenia. And they're able to do that with it. Another good serve. Deru's roll shot picked off. It's a foot fault though against Gasparini as he took off on the three metre line instead of behind it. So Belgium hit the technical timeout, leading by two. Watch the feet of the number six. And the foot on that line means it's a foot fault. You have to take off from behind it when you're a back row player. and picking up a couple of points from service. And that's been the difference in that race from 8 to 16. Good touch. Nice block out from Chevel. Belgium made Slovenia go again. And then Chevel works the block really well. Big hits coming from both sides of the net in this opening set. 109 kilometers an hour, much too hot for Chevel to handle. Oh, what a block that is. That's a monster block. The Hayes. Coming up with a beauty. gasparini has gone off and uh, Tunchek Stern has come in in the opposite slot for Slovenia. Have a play from her now. Just see the way it goes up, and then no one takes him on cross court, and he's got an easy swing.
Good pick up. There's a net touch by Bernau as his momentum carried him into the net. Belgium will take the point. That's not a problem, him touching his hand. If it was the net touch, that would be a problem. Belgium cannot capitalise. Anastasi doesn't like the missed serves. Double touch called against Belgium, and now it's changing again as Slovenia finds some momentum in the set. Neither team able to really get some rhythm going as Robrek goes back to serve. There's certainly a chance here for Slovenia to put some pressure on Belgium. Excellent pass. Oh dear, Daru doesn't find the baseline. 21st century attacking. In terms of what swing hitters do now. Pass middle, hit middle on the pipe. Well, that one was not finding its target. However, there's a challenge coming by Belgium to the decision made on that call. Just wait for Belgium. A confident wait for Slovenia, who believe this one is out. Must be close. Well, they went for a net touch. Uh, sorry, a block touch. Well, we have no block touch. So it is Slovenia's ball. Rupert will serve again. Slovenia have leveled up 19 apiece. Side out, achieved. Thomas Russo. That's good use, he could put that in the scene between the two blockers. Stern nowhere near it. Russo now to serve. See how the four hitters they open up the cross court angle, and if you take that away and leave enough line, they'll use it. They're now with the serve. Excellent work. now with the serve for Slovenia. <laughs> Big swing by Van den Dries. <laughs> the 
Ruiz has gone off. Kuman has come in to serve number 22 for Belgium. First time onto court for him. Oh, it's a commit block from Sam Deru. Belgium now edge in front in this first set. Great work from Deru helping out in the middle. Anastasia's going apoplectic on that missed serve. It's funny, isn't it? How different coaches react in different ways. As Pollock goes back to the serving line, Kuhlman comes off. Libra goes back in for Belgium. Lois Stewart. Alan Payank with the serve for Slovenia. Good leave. Belgium edge in front. Matthias Valkyrs to serve. It's gone Belgium's way. Well, Terlinx is getting involved. It's getting a little bit tasty on court. No love lost between these two teams, that's for sure. There is a challenge. Tino, Tino Erna having a little chat with Daru, the two captains. Challenge requested by Slovenia. Getting heated. Ha! High are fine. <laughs> so here comes the official review. There's the hit. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, is there? There is no net touch. It's on the side. And I think that's the reason they called for it. They've called for a net touch. And what they're hoping to see is that the ball was on the side of Slovenia when it was played, which clearly it wasn't. So it doesn't work. Belgium take the point. They have set point at 24-22. No, Big point for Belgium that was from service. Puts them in a position now where they can side out to win the set. Regardless if they have a bonus chance here with Valkyrs who could really do some damage from the serving line. It's a free point scoring opportunity really now. The captain's gonna have a little work. Ooh, hello, yellow card to both teams for that. Little shenanigans that went on through the net and rightly so. The first referee just laying down the law. So now that means for the rest of these teams, any more infringements, it's a red card. They both had their warnings. It doesn't matter who does what next. If it's card a ball, it'll be a red. Valkyrs to serve for Belgium. Set point for them. High and wide for Chevel to do something. Better chance maybe for Slovenia. And they have managed to save set point. Tunček Stern getting that down in front of Belgium's block. Twenty-three, twenty-four. Gasparini comes back in to serve for Slovenia, but not before a timeout's been called.
Gasparini, who's had to wait to have this serve. Slovenia's set point game. One side out needed for Belgium to go 1 0 up. They're going to have a swing. They're going to have another swing, or they're not, because there's nobody there. They have to scoop the ball over, and now Slovenia can get level. And they have done. It's a free hit for Chevel at four. Belgium got themselves into all sorts of bother. Slovenia saves set point. Daru nowhere near blocking that. Kittenberg has come in for Van den Bries. We better help with the passing for Belgium. Four passes now lined up, almost on the baseline, as Gasparini gets ready to serve. Nice ball in from Daru, who gets it back. Chebel. Chebel again. It's not gone down, and Slovenia is celebrating. Chebel's not even ready, he can't get the ball. Oh, they're calling a let. Well, I'll tell you why they're calling a let, because unfortunately, the ball girl has gone in to mop the floor. One of the court helpers decided to, she's gone on thinking the rally was over, and she's ran on the court. So, Chebel has this swing, thinks it's got the ball down, it's hit the foot. Well, it's, it has hit, it's hit shin and floor, hasn't it? But play on. And then they're all celebrating. The referee says play on. And then one of the court assistants has gone on to start mopping the floor. She's, <laughs> she's mopping the floor at four. <laughs> she can't have a swing. <laughs> so this one hits the floor. It's down, which is fine. So they could challenge that. But, and then the referee just stops play anyway. But I think when they see this, that he may well, if they can go back and see that the ball had hit the floor, which is probably what the challenge would have been. But the other issue we have with all this is Erno is saying that the ball hit the floor, fine, but then no challenge came from Slovenia in rally. And the reason is because they thought the rally was over when they hit this ball, you see. So they think, right, rally over. Referee's not seen it, back because he can't, because... Uh, there's a couple of players in the way. Play on. No challenge coming. Chebel's off celebrating. And then the poor old uh, court assistant's on wiping the spot at four where he could then couldn't go and have a swing if he wanted to. So the minute she walked on the court, the referee calls for a let. And this is where Anu's still going on. Look, go back and check. And I think it's just, it's just one of those things where he's saying, I can't. The rally... I've had to stop the rally because... An assistant's come on the court, and you guys didn't challenge in time, which is what you have to do. If you think something is wrong in the rally, you can challenge in rally. Well, I've never seen that before. I'm pretty sure we won't see anything like that again. Um, it's a shame it came at the time it did. It just means Gasparini has to go again. Daru is put down, and it's now set point for Slovenia. Karkias goes to Daru, that's a great block from Chebel. And also from uh, Kozimunic, set point, Slovenia. Nice swing this time from Daru. 25 all, we keep going until somebody gets two points clear. Klinkenberg's job is done. And Andres back onto court. Massive 
play by Chebel. He was up, flying, waiting, and then gets it off the block. Down the side of Belgium, set point again for Slovenia. Chevel with the serve. Good touch. Oh, really good touch for the set. Over rotated. Didn't find the line. Had a long way to come in and then try to turn it back out to that line, but with the angle got the better of Tino Ernau. Nicely played, Gasparini. Set point against Slovenia. Fine line, isn't it, between that being an absolute roof block and becoming what it was, which is block out. Kozimunic. Oh, there's a good chance here, maybe, for Slovenia. Ernau has got it done. He's got it done, and Slovenia take the first set, 28-26. Well, he had just about everything in that first set. Both teams getting a yellow card. One of the weirdest incidents we'll probably see in volleyball for a long time. Going past the 25-point mark, and in the end, it's Slovenia who get it done through the captain, Tina Ernau, to get it 28-26 and take that first set. It was a fabulous first set that had plenty of action and talking points. As the teams change ends, we can get ready and we can have a look at some of those highlights from the first set. talking point of that first set was the ball that hit the floor or hit the shin hit the floor but was not spotted by the first referee played on Chebel celebrating for Slovenia thinking the point was won and then the court wiper coming on to wipe the court whilst the rally was still going in the referee's mind hence the reason why he called a let and because Slovenia did not challenge the ball up ball down quickly enough they weren't even allowed to make the challenge. And the left was the call, much to the upset of Slovenia. But I've never seen a court wiper go on to court mid-rally. We've all seen those of you that follow volleyball before it's hit the floor. It's not been seen and play continue.
despite the veracity of the serving. Only one ace in that set. So teams get ready for the second set. No changes for either side, as you might expect. That'll be a net touch against Belgium. First point goes Slovenia's way. Good leave by Rousseau. <laughs> Gasparini with the foot fault. He's made a couple of those now in this match. Oh, free swing, Gasparini. And that won't be coming back. Nice play, Slovenia. Big, big hit. The second set, following on pretty much in the same lines as the first, point for point. The question is going to be whether which team can get the lead and then hold on to it, because neither team were able to do that in the first set, despite both teams managing to get a three-point advantage, at least during one stage of the set. Belgium probably the most disappointed of the two, having been 24-22 up. Serving at 24-22 and having a side-out chance. That's a great touch. But how always has to be Arnu's ball. Robert wants to go in and set. He never wants to take the first ball. Setters don't. And Arnu's back row needs to know, yep, I should have played it. Belgium's perseverance pays off. <laughs> Slovenia were in Group 2 of the World League in 2017, and they won Group 2 and would have gone up to Group 1 before the World League changed to become the Volleyball Nations League. And the bus driver's very happy.
Belgium get two points ahead. However, in the first set, they weren't able to hold on to that for very long. Perhaps they can do a bit better here in the second. Well, they weren't serving like that, were they? Oh dear, well oh, that was a chance, Van der Voord dug the ball, put it in there, now there's going to be more trouble here, both these teams have had a yellow card, they need to calm down. Just the ball next time, not the net as well, and I understand this is getting involved, not that he's a fiery tempered character at all. Error from Belgium, the ball into the antenna. And Slovenia making the most of that as well with a big celebration. Dig. Oh, it's just a shame. I think the spin on the ball got the better of Ernau. Well, Mapsi was just put off by Gasparini. Yeah, indeed, a bit of both, really. Spin and, Ga and Gasparini getting in Tino Ernau's way. Swing from Gasparini into the technical timeout we go. Slovenia lead 8-7 and by one set to nothing. A serve, Chebel. I say, watch out, here comes trouble. No, watch out, here comes Chebel. That's a great serve, right in between the two passes. Nothing for Belgium to worry about with that serve. Belgium, though, are unable to put any pressure. there serving and so Slovenia will go again this time it will be number four Jan Kozimanik with the serve the haze through the middle
That's an excellent ball in, lots of opportunities. Gasparini with as good as a free net as you're going to get at this level. And he's missed his mark. It's a perfect ball in by Chevel. It's just a complete miss hit from Gasparini. However, once again, Belgium unable to make the most of that chance. Oh, lovely. A little bit of trickery from Matthias Valkyrs. Had Payank jump with him, and that was it. Then free ball, free swing, spike town for Peter Verhees. now it's a great touch Gasparini did he get the hands yes he did the rhythm of the game the pattern of this set is beginning to shine through here for Slovenia they're putting their serves in they're putting Belgium under pressure they're making them work for their points that one they couldn't get done and then Slovenia get it into transition to take the point Whereas Belgium are going back and then missing their serves. Belgium are not putting pressure on Slovenia at the moment. Not in the right areas. Ernau for Slovenia. Belgium happy that he was unable to put pressure back on them. First time, Alan Payink, and the ball goes down. Belgium get the point. That's just what Belgium wanted. <laughs> Lovely. Roperet. Oh, he's not going to get it. It's been given as out. It was a lovely set to go middle. They think there was a, uh, a block touch, Slovenia. They're going to challenge the decision of ball of out and it not catching the block.
put the little pinky. Slovenia have a big point. It was certainly long, may well have been uh, in on the sideline, but it wasn't going to be on the, on the long line. But there's a challenge coming. The short line judge didn't signal it was that far out for him. So we're going to have another quick, we'll have a quick look, as it were, to see whether or not we're going to go Slovenia's way or Belgium's way. Oh, look at that, blimey. It was that quick. It looked to have been long, but that doesn't get much better than that, really. Completely unplayable. And Andres doing a great job. Uh, Van der Voort. Back to the serving line. All square. Well, that's not going to... Oh, it will come back now, but a little bit of work to be done. Belgium swing, Van den Dries shut down. We head to the second technical timeout. Slovenia lead by one point and by one set to nothing. That's what you call a Slovenian war. Both teams with just one point from the serving line. The rest have all been side out points. We saw it, so hence why it's so close at the moment. So straight through to find the point for Belgium. Really quick hand. Cheeky little jump float serve. Oh, that looked like it was going out, and then straight away Chevel said it must have come off the block. Quick to get an excuse in as to why he shanked that one up into the crowd. Oh, it didn't touch the block, did it? Or so. Manu just up, hand in front, sees the ball, sees the block. And once you can do that, 
is able to then find the gap between the two blockers. Rupert's serve. Oh, it's a good serve because now Belgium is scrambling. Free ball, three front court attackers plus Chebel on the pipe. Be quick, ball goes down. Alan Payenk it was who finished it off. Slovenia now two in front. Belgium have called a timeout. Payenk's up, he's hit that before the block's got their hands above the height of the net. Really good swing. Prep the serve once more. They're now Gasparini and Payank in the front row for Slovenia. Lovely. They're now against the three blockers and he's done it. He got, gets the block out. That's why he plays for Medina in Italy, one of the best clubs in the world of volleyball. Because in the tight situations, he can come up with those shots. Dulce has come in. Placing Valkes. New pair of hands in for Belgium. Somehow that stays in play. Not any longer though, Gasparini to the baseline. <laughs> Lovely arm swing up and then through the ball. Hardly any spin on it, comfortably in. Overpassed. Chebel has to come in and make do as a setter. This is a bit tight. And Payank has been shut down as he tried to block that one back. So what a timid effort that from Payank. Cool man in to serve. He needs to be so here for his team and get this serve in. Try and put some pressure on Slovenia. Lovely. Fast ball by Robrett to Payek. Too fast for Belgium to do anything about. Whipped in. And then angles for Peg to put the ball down. Kuhlman goes off. Serving run over. No, no. Miss hit that one. Good leave. Kovacic watching that one as it went off of the block from Gasparini. Slovenia in an excellent position now. 
within this set. Another timeout called, and it's Belgium who have called it. A serve for Slovenia, and it's now set point for them. That's a great serve. It might stay in play. Not now, it won't. I now knew very little about that. Nice ball in. Looks like that's off the knee of Ernau. Second time out called. That's the video, cool, eh? Then you can't get a special play. Daru with the serve. Indecision by Slovenia as to whether to let that go or not. And it's Chebel who ends up half digging it and it's gone into the crowd. Daru once again, still big opportunity here for Slovenia. Kovacic pops it up. Chebel has missed wide. Two points in a row from Belgium. Surely we are not going to see what we saw in set one, are we? Slovenia now call timeout. This is the same position Belgium found themselves in. 24-22 and lost the set. Daru with the serve. Mishandled by Ropret, that's three in a row now. And Slovenia cannot find a side out. This is their last chance. Ropret made a bit of a mess of that. And a substitution has just been called just to try and 
keep Sam Daru waiting here. Stearns come in. Gasparini to the bench. Daru to serve again. Chevel. Good pick up, Daru. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Belgium have got this to 24 all. Incredible. Slovenia had enough chances, they didn't take them. And now they find themselves all square. Brilliant serving run from Daru under pressure. Incredible to think that your back's to the wall, you must make the serve, you have to make the serve. And he made four in a row. And then once they get level, it's like that pressure valve drops off. Oh, I don't have to try so hard, maybe. How many times do we see those errors turn up when you find yourself in that situation? Unable to finish things off and put Slovenia firmly on the back foot. An error made by Daru. Slovenia have set point again. But now they're going to have to do it the hard way. But Gasparini does have an excellent jump serve. He could get it done here. Didn't get the toss right. Belgium need two more points from service in order to see this one over the line and level the match. Van der Voort, it will be to serve. Anastasi with a very good dig, but well, that's not allowed. And so, Slovenia have another set point. One good serve can do it, but that's two serves that haven't even put Belgium under pressure. Turlinks has come in to serve. So he's got something up that compression sleeve of his. Gasparini sides it out again. Slovenia have set points again. Terlinks comes off and the Dries goes back on. New player onto court for Slovenia. Vincic is in to replace Ruprecht. Vintage is a setter, but he's also a lot taller, so it's a, a double here in so much as it's a blocking substitution, but also a pair of hands on court. And they've got a chance, Vintage's first set of the match. Turn out, good up, Daru waiting in that corner, he's made a couple of digs from that position now, but that's an unforced error, it's gone the way of Slovenia. There's going to be a challenge from Belgium. But Slovenia pretty much convinced that this is out, and they have the set. Oh, Belgium clutching at straws. to wait suggests it's close but how close and is it in oh if you can already see the shadow oh no 
is out. It is out. Devastation for Belgium. Joy for Slovenia. 28-26. Slovenia now lead 2-0. Oh, what a couple of sets we've just witnessed. Incredible volleyball. Slovenia in the driving seat, but no guarantee they'll get this done 3 0. We can have a look at the highlights now from the second set. What a fantastic second set it was. So that's an uh, epic set. The talking point being the fact that Slovenia are up 24, what, 20? I think it was, wasn't it, at that point? And then lost four in a row. Sam Daru with an excellent serving run. Belgium throwing some caution to the wind. They made a couple of changes for this third set. Sten Dolst is in as setter number four, and also in is Kevin Klinkenberg through the outside. Plays his volleyball in Milan. So there should be a bit of a crowd favourite here. And there's a little issue with the rotation for Slovenia. I think they've got them, he's got them in the wrong rotation. Just hopefully he hasn't put the wrong player next to the wrong player. That would be a disaster. Oh dear, what they've done is they've got the wrong player on court. So they're going to be making a substitution here. Incredible. Both setters are on. Rob Brett and Vincic. So the nine has been misconstrued as a six and the uh, I'll tell you what the assistant coach is going to be in for a ribbing because now they're making a substitution right off the bat which also means that Gasparini and Vintage if they change again that's it Dulce to serve for Belgium. Yeah. 
An absolute belter by Gasparini. Robbie Stewart getting that one straight in the chest. Dries, as reliable as ever, really. Big hitter for Belgium. The issue we're going to see for Belgium is when Dulce gets to the front row. Sanderou with the serve now. And hit the block, play continues. Hit the block again, play doesn't continue because it was off the block and out. Nice work by Arno to get that off of Van der Voorde in a way. Hey, serve for Slovenia. That's an excellent serve by Arno. He's really pumped up for this game. Doesn't get much better than that. Arnu going out to Klinkenberg again, potentially. Although it's popped in by Sam Deru. Chases on. Oh, yes! What a dig that is! And even a chicken wing. Brilliant from Slovenia. There's going to be some attention given to the libero Kovacic who's cut his arm after going after the ball he slides off and into uh, the advertising holdings he's cut his arm but this is a great swing Chebel on the line Dulst cannot keep it in play whilst uh, Kovacic receives some treatment there'll be a new libero on for Slovenia and it's uh, Urban Toman number 14 into the action for the first time might be a bit of a target for uh, Belgium a touch cheeky set by Arnu. Chebel lovely cross court roll and Astazi's going crazy because there was nobody covering at four Stir didn't shift around when the three blockers went up and that's an easy put away Stewart getting caught slightly in the shadow of the block actually really disappointed with that Dolst is disappointed with that
Belgium just taking their time. Whilst uh, there's some serious skin loss going on. Might need uh, some sleeves just to cover that up and protect it for Kovacic. One hander by Deru. And the Dries just had to delay that, and that gave the block time to get set and get across. Good up. No way through for Klinkenberg. Might be now, though. And there is. That's a lovely shot from him. That was going out, Van den Dries played it into the technical timeout. We go, Slovenia with a huge lead. In the context of this match, it is a big lead. It didn't touch Van der Voort, but Van den Dries couldn't help but try and get a hand on it. The thing is, those hoardings, as you see them, also see the little strips sticking out on the floor. A lot of players have um, damaged hands. Luke Perry did his finger and his thumb in, sliding for a ball, and then those little things that are holding the advertising hoarding up, sliding into those, quite painful, as well as the actual smashing into the advertising hoarding. Not like it used to be when they just made a cardboard. Gasparini. Oh, what a serve that is from Gasparini. Van den Dries not helping out. Klinkenberg had left a lot of space inside. Look at that full stretch. Left way too much to his right. He's across a little bit this time. They've spread it out a bit more, have the Belgium serve receive unit. Oh, huge block, Chebel. It's getting better and better for Slovenia. It's getting worse and worse here for Belgium. That's a monster block from Chebel. And then Dries has gone off. And, uh, Number two, Hendrik Terlings has come in now for Belgium in the opposite slot. So three players on court for Belgium who didn't start this match. The slight worry for Slovenia is Tuman's ability as Libro and whether or not Belgium can pick on him sufficiently. Shouldn't be difficult to spot, he's wearing a different coloured shirt. However, Belgium sticking to their serve routines. 
Oh, that one didn't hit the big screen. That one, though, hits the floor. Kozimernik puts it down. It's a free hit in the middle. But Hayes nowhere to be seen until it was way, way too late. Dulst is front row. Two front court attackers for Hayes and Sam Deru plus the backcourt option of Turlings on the 10. Good covering by Belgium. Nice pick up by Arnu. Oh, what a swing cross court. Deru and uh, Verhees switching positions. Deru got stuck in the middle to make this block. Verhees has gone out too wide and left the angle cross court for Arnu to put the ball away. Valkyrs is back into the action, Dulst has gone off. Big serve from Chevel. Daru gets the better of Ropret. amazing. Arnu up miles high and then as casual as you like puts his hand pretty much on top of the ball. Banks it into the three meter line. Fantastic. Oh dear, a little bit of perspiration on that one for Valkyrs. He'll soon forget it. It happens. Referee being kind by saying it was just a double touch. We won't want to see that again, will he? Nice swing by Daru. Got an interesting arm action, Daru. Doesn't get his hand all the way up. His hitting hand. Watch it. Kind of stays quite low. And then comes up into the ball. So it does get a high contact. Not the, the most uh, perhaps efficient of swings. Roprep back to serve, Gasparini to the front row with Payank and Turnout. It's a big front row, this, for Slovenia. And it's a big serve by Arnu. We head into the second technical timeout. Slovenia with a huge lead in this match.
Gasparini just taking a little bit off it. Well, that should have been a double against Falkirs. He's got away with it. Oh, really good pick up. That's brilliant. New Libero on court for Belgium. And Yella Hibbins makes an excellent dig. Fortunately, same couldn't be said for Slovenia. Toman still on court for Slovenia. The Hayes back to the serving line. It's off of uh, Terlinks and into the antenna. Slovenia have the point. Nice ball in by Tomman. And good use of the block by Gasparini. That's a nice high leap by Igor Grobelny, who's also just come onto court. And a good swing as well. Touched by Valkyrs. Oh, great block by Grabelny as he shuts down Gasparini. Belgium on the comeback trail. He gets up, gets across, finishes the block. Gasparini not <laughs> couldn't get out of the way, <laughs> gets it in his ear for good measure. Turlinks. Shevel gets the block out. And every time Slovenia side out, they edge closer to victory and put more pressure on Belgium. Daru makes sure. Great dig by Turlings. Wonderful Swinny finish by him. I said Swinish. Wonderful finish by him, but you have to be careful with his celebration. He had his back to the referee, but if he saw that, he'd get into trouble. Ravelny puts the ball down. Belgium now beginning to put some pressure on Slovenia's backup Libero. And it's paying off. Slovenia call the timeout. Belny with the serve. Oh, 
Good pick up by Turlings. Oh, that's a great dig. That's an equally good dig. Oh, they're getting better all the time. Amazing. Well, what a rally that was. A shame that it ends with an error. But some spectacular defence on both sides of the net. The Libros giving it their all. The backcourt outside hitters giving it their all. Lovely pick up. That's what the Libros are there for. That, however, didn't stay in play. Slovenia take the point. Gasparini. Terlix and Grubelli get out of the way in time. Trying to keep cool. Kovacic now back into the action. He's been taped up. Van der Voort. Lovely. Chevel, straight arm, nice and quick. And Belgium won a, a carry. They know they're not going to get it because everybody does this. It's a power tip. It's a quick arm with a straight arm. Quick hand with a straight arm is absolutely fine. Stas is still complaining. He wouldn't be complaining if it was one of his players doing it. But they're just trying to find any way to try and disrupt Slovenia's rhythm. At the moment, oh, it's another ace serve. And again, Belgium beaten in that same spot, giving up so much of the court to their right. More pressure on Belgium. But Daru just gets him out of trouble with that swing. Good leave. Under the net doesn't count. But for Slovenia, it couldn't get much better for them right now. Their side out game hopefully will hold fast. It didn't hold particularly fast in the second set, but they did manage to get themselves over the line in the end. Sam Deru looking for a serving run to match the one he had in set two. Not going to happen as that comes off of the block of Turlix, who's saying he didn't touch it. So there's going to be a challenge then. A challenging block touch. No. 
And then there might be a counter challenge for ball in, ball out by Slovenia. So we're going to see two challenges here, potentially anyway. If it touched the block, it doesn't matter. If it didn't, then Slovenia are going to challenge whether or not the ball, going to challenge the decision for ball being uh, in out. That didn't touch the block. The question is, was the ball out or in? So now comes the counter challenge. Because the ball has been given as out. So the counter challenge now from Slovenia is we think it's in. We want to see that. Anastasia have the second ref. Can they do that? Yeah, of course they can. You made your challenge for balling out. They can do the counter one. <laughs> and look at that, it's in right in the corner. Slovenia take the point. That's a tough one for Belgium. Good up. Kovacic was just... Well, he no, he wasn't. So uh, we've got a carry call against Kovacic, although... The uh, other issue was whether or not Kovacic was over the three-metre line when he set the ball. So uh, Hernan Kesemikela just oh, it was a carry, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, in fact, it's not called uh, the carry on the set, it's called the carry on the hit. That's a good dig. Set's fine. This is the carry because the hand was to the block, took the uh, took, was away. Turlings took his hands away and Ernotz then carried that ball through and over the net got there in the end. Belgium with the server, Hayes with the ball. A serve by the Hayes, Belgium. I'm not going to go away that easily. Hayes once again. Serving run comes to an end, and this match may well be coming to an end very soon. Match point for Slovenia. That's come off of Chebel and hit the antenna. Belgium sided out. He's hit the antenna twice. Still in play. Second swing for Chebel to win the game. They're looking for touches here. It's gone the way of Slovenia. Now, depending on where the touch has been given, that's it. Slovenia are celebrating. There's a challenge coming from Anastasi, which can only challenge block touch or ball in, ball out. They can't challenge the touch from Terlinx if it was deemed to be in the back row, and that's what the referee's saying. You can't challenge that. That's it, it's game over. Slovenia have won the match by three sets to nothing. 25-19 in the third set.